Hi, I'm Rich Harris and welcome back to my kitchen for my Back to Basics series for Video Jug. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It's my perfect tomato sauce with meatballs. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect tomato sauce. It's really simple and once you've mastered this, it's so versatile. So turn the heat on and get some olive oil in a heavy base pan. The key to a great tomato sauce is cooking it low and cooking it slow and just allowing those flavours to really develop. When the oil's hot, add some chopped onion and fry that gently for about five minutes. When the onions are soft and started to go a little bit golden, add the garlic. And then just fry the garlic for a couple of minutes. Next up, add the tomato puree. It's really important that you fry the tomato puree off before adding anything else. Otherwise it can lend a bit of a bitterness to the sauce. Next up, add the tin tomatoes. Give everything a stir. And then turn the heat down to a low simmer. Then add a teaspoon of caster sugar. And what the sugar's going to do is bring out all the natural sweetness in the tomato. And then lastly, a bit of sherry vinegar. And sherry vinegar's great with tomato sauces because it's kind of got that acidity that you get in tomato and also a bit of sweetness as well. Once you've added the vinegar, let it simmer away for about 40 to 45 minutes until it's really reduced and thickened. And for a full recipe, just check out the description box. While the sauce is ticking away, we can make the meatballs. What I've got here is some pork sausage meat and then some beef mince as well. And when I'm making meatballs, I really like to use a combination of two meats because the beef adds that lovely sort of meaty flavour and then the sausage meat, you get that kind of great seasoning and there's a good level of fat in there as well, which you really do need. And to that, I've just got some onions and garlic, which I've just fried off in a little bit of butter. Now get your hands in. So really work the mixture together to make sure it's really well combined. And then add about a handful of dry white breadcrumbs. And what they're going to do is just help bind everything together. Really work it. And then lastly, a bit of seasoning. Just make sure you don't over season though because don't forget that sausage meat does tend to be seasoned. And then just work that into the mixture. I think meatballs should be quite small. They cook more easily and they're much easier to eat as well. So take a small amount of the mixture and just roll it in your hands. Every now and again, just dip your hands in a bowl of water and that just stops the mixture from sticking. Once you've rolled all your meatballs, pop them in the fridge for about half an hour just so they firm up a bit and they're gonna hold their shape much better when they cook. Right, so the sauce has been ticking away for about 45 minutes now and you can see that it's really reduced. The tomatoes are broken right down and it looks gorgeous and really deep red colour. Now at this point the sauce is completely ready to use but for my meatballs I want something a little bit smoother. So, turn the heat off and then I'm going to use a stick blender just to kind of puree the sauce. Just blitz it until you're happy with the consistency. You can leave the sauce just like that, but I'm going to add some basil just to freshen things up. If you're going to add herbs to your sauce, it's important to add them at the end of cooking and after you've blended it. If you blend the sauce with the herbs in, everything's going to turn a bit brown. So the meatballs have been in the fridge now for about half an hour and they've firmed up really well, which means they're going to hold their shape brilliantly in cooking. I've got some oil heating here in a large heavy base frying pan and you don't need too much oil because there is a decent fat content within the sausage meat. So just pop them straight in. And then just keep shaking the pan to make sure that they cook evenly. Once the meatballs are golden brown all over and almost cooked through, just pour in the sauce. Let the sauce and meatballs simmer away gently together for about 10 minutes and that sauce will actually finish off cooking the meatballs. And for more great recipes like this, click the subscribe button. And there we have it, my perfect tomato sauce with meatballs. Simple, versatile and absolutely delicious. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and I look forward to seeing you back in the kitchen again soon for another of my Back to Basics recipes.